How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Steel. Welcome to Hydronia 2.0. So, today we're going to be talking about tiers and what that actually means. The reason why is because it seems to have caused a little bit of confusion to obviously new players who don't know why the game's different and why it's not working properly and some of the older players who haven't played this game for a little while who weren't paying attention to the update and so on. I'm not being condescending, it's just unfortunately the game has changed. You do have to learn this. It's just the joys of Hydronia. So, first off, I want to explain the drill system. So this is a tier 1 drill, this is a tier 2 drill, and this is a tier 1 harvester, and this is a tier 2 harvester. Now, the major difference is, number one, the look. Now, one's made of iron, the other one's made of iron and cloutium. And then the secondly, these drills only work on specific dirts. Okay? A tier 1 drill and a tier 1 harvester only work on tier 1 dirt, which is between floor 0 which I'll explain in a minute, floor 0 and floor 8. A tier 2 drill can work on floor 0 all the way down to floor 14 or 15. I think it's 15, but we'll explore that in this video. And the harvester, the tier 2 harvester, can work every single bit of dirt between floor 0 and the bottom floor of tier 2. Now, you're probably now sitting there going, what the smeg are you talking about? Because I don't know what you're talking about. This is how I gauge tier 1 and tier 2 dirt. And I do it in floors. So when I say floors, it's each block. Because it works in a grid system, tier 1 starts at floor 0, which is where we are. This is this block here. Yeah? So if you work on a block of flats, the floor 1 is normally ground floor, then it's flat 1, flat 2, flat 3. Okay? Now ground floor flat one flat two flat three just work down now this means that there are eight floors that you can go down with a bog standard pickaxe which is this pickaxe the dull pickaxe and as you can see it's got a one next to it that means it's a tier one and this means that this pickaxe can dig all of this ground until the bottom of tier eight or floor eight right so i can dig all of this out and then when I get past this, you see those sparks coming off? It means I can't dig any further. That is as low as tier 1 can go. Now I need to get out. Unstuck! Alright, follow me so far? That's cool. This means that the iron drill, the one that looks like the ram drill, and the iron harvester, the, the grey one, basically will work with your, with, with your builds until that point, the bottom of floor 8. Now, this is a, a tier 2 pickaxe. This is the common pickaxe. You can buy this pickaxe from Icehelm, and you can buy this pickaxe from Bridgepour. Look in the equipment stores, that's where you'll find these. And a tier 2 pickaxe can dig not only tier 1 dirt, but it can also dig <gasps> tier 2. There we go. And we can go all the way down until we get to wherever we're going. There we go. We've actually hit a floor. So that means we've reached the bottom of tier 2. Now, that means that South Hope has been extended. And normally I'm used to seeing like 12 squares down, which basically means South Hope is a little bit deeper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow up this hole a bit more. And then from there, we will explore the rest of this tier system. And we'll go from there. Like I said, the only way to get through down to tier 3 is with a nuke. Now, if this has got tier 3 soil, we'll find it. Okay, so we've explained the pickaxe, and we've explained, like, tier 2 pickaxe, but we never really saw the bottom of tier 2, did we? So, drills, we've ha we have tier 1 and tier 2. We don't currently have tier 3. Now, tier 3 was evident when you look at mildew. It has this little circle, which is the actual pond, and it's been divided into three separate sections. It has 1, 2, and 3 on it, and that, that, that is the tier system as a picture, but it doesn't tell you how deep things are. So... In my infinite wisdom of life, I've been blowing up South Hope. Don't worry, I can duplicate this save and it, my land will be perfectly clean. It's all good. And what I did was I put all these bricks together to sort of work out how deep it was. So, that is bedrock. Where this big hole here now is, this is bedrock. I can't go any deeper than this. It's all good. This is tier 3 soil. This makes me happy. The reason why it makes me happy, it just means that South Hope is much deeper and much more valuable. 
and I can't wait to build one of those massive setups with tier 3 stuff, whatever we're going to be doing in life. So we are 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's ah, there we go. So that one there, this is where we're actually standing. So let me... Got an idea. If you were to go 15 blocks down to where I am, this is 15 blocks, which means the top section, which is this block here, is 14. So this block. So this block is tier no, like level 14. Okay? So level 14 is where a tier 2 drill can go. Which is currently quite good because South Hope was only ever 12 blocks deep. Which means we now have an extra two blocks to play with. More profit. And it's all good. That means we were going to be looking at the actual profit line of what we were having in Mildew. Until the update. This diggable section is where we can go to. This diggable section is where we can't go to. This diggable section is 15. So 15 and below, you can't dig because we don't have tier 3 equipment. I can't wait to see what tier 3 is. So the one thing that I'm, I, I liked about this is when we were playing in the beta, all the dirt looked the same. And it was sort of like, oh, right, okay, cool. But if you look at this, as you can see, it starts off in like this weird colour here and works its way through this more natural looking colour. And then it goes down again. But as you can see, it gets darker on every single gradient. And basically, this, this is the markings of tiers. So where we're standing, which is... Okay. So where we're standing is the first tier system. Then, if you go down a bit further, all the way down to where that is, as you can see, the dirt gets darker and darker and darker. And then when you get to the bottom, it's just, well, black. Well, it's like a really, 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 really dark brown. And that's the, that's the tier system visually. And this basically just means where you are and how it's going to affect you and so on and so forth. So this would mean that a tier 1 drill only works down to floor 8, or what I call floor 8, which is block 8. So from that point there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This block here will be the last block you can dig through before your T1 stuff doesn't work. And then after that is tier 2. I think that's basically everything I need to explain when it comes to the tier system and how things sort of work. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. We'll go from there and I'll, I'll try and sort of like... I mean, your, your, your questions actually do turn into videos. So it's easier for other people to explain. I actually enjoy helping this community because Hydroneer is a very wholesome community. The... the the, the, the Discord is amazing, and everybody just enjoys the game how they do. But I'm hoping this helps people sort of get it into their mind of what they can do. If you do want to know anything else, let me know. I'll be more than happy to have a chat with you down in the comment section below. I'm always around, and I try and respond to every single person as quickly as I can. It's At the moment, because it's a lot more people like talking to me because it's a new version of the game... It seems to be I'm gonna have I, I'm talking to a lot of people right now, but I will be with you as soon as I can. So thank you very much for kicking by. I'll see you all later. I want to say peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all the updates. And I'll be back here as soon as I can be. Bye bye for now.